Well, you know, the climate system is not, not a member of the Republican Party, it's not a member of the Democratic Party, so it doesn't change anything to the laws of physics, which nobody can reject. You don't negotiate with the laws of physics. Climate change is a, a fact. It might be an inconvenient truth, but it's something that's happening. And what's also happening on the ground is a lot of action at the uh, city level, at the citizen level, at the state level, in many countries around the world. And uh, the result of the last uh, US election won't change anything to that. Uh, a lot of uh, business opportunities are also uh, present uh, in the uh, fight against climate change. A lot of innovation, a lot of research, and I'm sure the uh, U.S. government will soon understand uh, that it would be uh, missing those opportunities if it was not acting like the rest of the world. Now, you, uh, the, many U.S. scientists have played a very important role uh, in the understanding and the analysis of the scientific uh, aspects of climate change, but also uh, the uh, impacts of climate change, which are, which are also affecting the U.S., by the way. Uh, and uh, the solution space uh, as well. The scientists are sentinels. If you uh, don't uh, help the sentinels and if you try to hide them, uh, it doesn't make the problem disappear at all. Uh, you just learn about the problem a little later, which is usually not so good. So I'm confident uh, that the next US government uh, and president will slowly maybe, but will finally understand that it is in their own interest uh, to act like the rest of the international community.